Tonight's a big night. Uh, it's the first night that I'm cooking in the commissary kitchen. Never cooked in there before, never done anything in there before, so gonna do it tonight. I can't really do it in the day because the kitchen's booked out for like a month in advance, like daytime hours. Uh, it's a 24 hour kitchen, so gonna go there tonight and try my best and making a whole bunch of breads uh, all at once. I ran a little mini test here at my house like making the recipe like four times, like not doubling, not tripling, but quadding, whatever quadding is. Quad the recipe, uh, made a whole big batch. So figured out I need some more stuff, more supplies that were not on that list from the last video. So I picked some of that up. That's what's here. Um, but there's like bowls and more measuring stuff and whatever. So I'm gonna, gonna pack all this up in the car and all the other supplies that are here at the house that got delivered and off to the kitchen we go. Excuse me, Rose. <laughs> This is exhausting. And it's fucking raining. The one time it rains in Vegas. Yeah. I got all my stuff in the car and I'm now on my way to the commissary kitchen. It's one of the very, very few times that it decides to rain in Las Vegas. Um, I'm not originally from Las Vegas. I moved here a couple years ago and I absolutely love it in Las Vegas. One of the things I love is the weather. I mean, it's almost December and I was walking around this afternoon in flip-flops and a t-shirt, but that sun went down, the rain picked up, and it's a little chillier and a little bit more miserable, um, which didn't help when it came to putting all the supplies into the car. It was a bit of a process to get everything in here, an annoying process, but it's in. It's quite a bit of stuff. I did, like I said earlier, I did pick up a couple more supplies. I got those through Restaurant Depot and ordered just a few more things off of Amazon. So my plan at the kitchen, I think is pretty straight ahead. I really just want to try to quad up my recipe, do my recipe four times, like whatever I said earlier, and just try to make a bunch of breads and see how it goes in the kitchen. Um, and start developing a process, start developing a bit of a method, procedures, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's that's the game plan for tonight. It's late. It's 9, well not very late, but it's 9.15. Um, and I've booked out the kitchen until 12, but there's no one after me. So I think I'm going to book it out until 2 a.m. That really, I think, is about it. There, I, I don't have the paper loaf pans that I want to use. I'm getting a company, Nova Cart or whatever, is send, I called them, and they're sending me some samples to take a look at, and the tracking shows it should get here tomorrow. So I'll take a look at those, see if those can work out for me, and then I will order some of those, um, and then obviously get back in this kitchen and keep testing and start doing some stuff. Um, I've been learning a lot as I'm going along here. I, for instance, today I called a guy who sells, makes and sells shrink wrap machines. And he said, based on your product, like if you're the breads, if you're, if you're shrink wrapping these things shortly after they're out of the oven, which is what I want to do because I don't have a lot of time in the kitchen, then the moisture is gonna get trapped inside of there and they're not gonna be as nice, which in practicing at home, I have learned the hard way. So, I mean, just like thinking and learning, I, you know, already one of the plans in my mind is like, okay, let's bake the breads at night. So we'll go in around this time, nine o'clock or even later, bake them, 
put them on the shelf, let them rest, let them cool down, and then we'll go back the following morning, early in the morning, like six or whatever. I guess for some people that might not be early, but like six o'clock and then shrink wrap them then and then get them into shipping boxes and out so they're shipped the same day and they're getting there hopefully like the next day or whatever um so that's that's just like one of the little things i'm learning as i'm going ahead and that you know that was nothing just getting the shrink wrap machine thinking about that and thinking well, how am i actually going to like really put these things together and then calling a couple companies and finding a guy that looks like he's selling a good product and reading some reviews it's just one more thing that I'm buying, one more thing that I'm doing, one more thing that I'm researching. Um, but it's all coming together, like slowly but surely. And that's the really cool thing is every time, you know, I finish one of these phone calls or something, I don't really feel it in the moment. I don't really feel like, oh, I've accomplished another thing. But, you know, as I'm looking back a little bit on the big picture, you kind of do see, okay, progress is being made. You just got to stick with it and stick with the the whole thing of doing this uh so that's it that's really my my plan for the evening um that's all my big updates i think for now so wish me luck Welcome to the kitchen. This is it. I now just gotta get everything from the car in the rain into here. Not really wanting to do that. My hair is gonna get a little funky, a little more funky than it already is from the rain. But here we go. Let's get it in and let's get started. Okay, step one here is to get the trash can set up and get all this stuff organized, packed away. Then we're gonna get the chef's coat on, get all the ingredients into containers, bought the ingredients yesterday at Restaurant Depot, and then get going. All right, it's on. Here we go. Okay, setting up the three-part sink. I've never done this before, but I've only watched videos to figure out how to do this. And Miranda has an idea on how it's how supposed to be idea? done. She did, you did it at um. I worked at a fast food place. Experience. So now we're gonna set this guy up. Okay, we tossed about two ounces of dish soap into this. This is a 10 gallon sink, each one. So said put two ounces of dish soap in. Now we're just gonna let her fill on up. Really? The battery died while that was filming. I should probably get another battery at some point. Anyway, um, I started washing everything. I'll show you what I've done here. Uh, my sanitizer is a quat sanitizer, so I put it in there, measured the proper ratios, and got it in there. I gotta rinse that spoon. So here's my dish soap and then the rinse station, use this to rinse, and then sanitize. And I'm gonna grab this stuff out here in just a second. Um, I don't have, you can see my little drying space is really small, so I started to use all of this as dry space. These are all the 
bowls for everything. I've got <laughs> a lot of bowls. Um, kind of had to buy packets. So, I mean, that was the best bang for your buck. Still have this stuff to wash. Here's the sanitizer. Um, but I still have this stuff to wash, and then I'm going to get all the food ingredients into these buckets over here. So that's what I'm going to do. Well, that sucked. <laughs> uh, that was a lot of dishes to do by myself. You can see them all here behind me to wash and then rinse and sanitize. Well, pretty much almost every bowl by hand and all that other stuff and then all the uh, mixing containers. Yeah, that really sucked. And I am soaked. So I am going to change. I have a backup one of these. I bought two backups. Um, so I'm going to change into the backup one of these, put a new one of these. I'm just going to take this off. Put a new one of these things on. Um, and then the plan is to get the butter to get to room temperature. The way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna turn on the oven or preheat it, get the butter out of the fridge, um, and then I'm gonna put the butter on the oven and hopefully the oven gets hot enough that it will bring the butter to room temperature um, quick enough. That's at least what I was doing at home. At home, I had paper plates that I put the butter on because if you weren't paying attention, you left it too long, the butter would melt and go everywhere and it's a whole mess. So I don't have any paper plates here because I forgot to buy them. Um, one thing on the supply list that we find I need that I forgot. So I'll grab some of those, but today I'll just use paper towels, take some paper towels, put them on there and call it good. So let's do that now. It's on and ready to go. There's my Chick-fil-A salad for lunch, which will be at like 2 a.m. Here's the butter. Let's get it out and get it on the oven. Okay, here's the butter. Uh, this is the butter that I bought at Restaurant Depot. This whole thing of butter, 30 pounds of it, cost like 80 bucks for the butter. Um, so yeah, this is kind of what it looks like when you buy something from Restaurant Depot. It's just a big bulk box. don't know how this oven works, so wish me luck. I'm putting this, I got this set to 350, which is what I need. I already did this earlier on, just moved the dial, that's all I did. I believe this is a timer, circuit breaker, and a little light, and I believe we just switched this to high. Unfortunately, the oven is not getting very hot on top. It's pretty cold. I've uh, moved the butters a little further back because the oven's a little, a little warmer back there. Um, so while we're still hoping for those things to warm up, next thing to do is get all the ingredients into these buckets here behind me. Um, and then I guess start baking. I, I'm tired. <laughs> I've, this is taking a lot longer than I thought it was gonna take. I've now booked the kitchen until 4 a.m. It's already 1.15 in the morning and I haven't even started baking yet. So onwards and upwards, I guess. Let's, uh, let's get to this. My buckets are still wet, which is not good because part of the rules of the health department is you're not allowed to hand dry stuff. Everything has to air dry. 
um, which I'm learning takes really long. So I guess I'm just gonna wait a little longer. Maybe I'll eat my Chick-fil-A salad and hang out a little bit. I ate my salad and every one of the buckets behind me has dried up, so I'm gonna now get all the food and put it in there, or ingredients and put it in there. All the food is in the containers and I moved the butter up to a better spot on the oven, a little warmer spot. I'll show you that and I'll show you the food as well. Uh, so here's the food, chocolate chips, brown sugar, uh, this one is flour, and salt. This stuff is still kind of drying and these ones are warming up. Ooh, see, this is what the problem I'm talking about. See how that is uh, leaking out there? So let's just stop that immediately. And let's get the rest of them. Yeah, we got another, another one leaking here. Oh, that's the problem. That's why we need paper plates. Oh, gosh, this one's... Okay, I'm going to have to deal with this. I have to set the camera down and deal with this somehow. That was a little whoopsies. Um, so, yeah, we gotta clean up though, it's fine. Um, I'm gonna leave those other two on there. They're in a cool spot on the oven. I don't think they're, I better just check, make sure. Uh, but I think, yeah, these ones are in a cold spot. These are fine. Okay, now the plan. The plan is to start baking. Now we got everything in the, um, in the supply things. It's now time to start baking. So can't share the can't share the secret recipe, but I will set up the camera and just uh, kind of I don't know do a little montage of me <laughs> baking. <laughs> I'm in another whoopsies. <laughs> a little bit bigger than um, forgetting the butter too long on the oven. I didn't bring any loaf pans with me. So last I checked you need those to cook banana bread. Uh, at least if you're gonna do it in a loaf pan in an oven you do. So oh man. Um hey, Rose. No Rose. Back up, back, 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 back. back got the loaf pans uh, that took about 40 minutes it's now like 245 or 250 in the morning uh, I originally had the kitchen scheduled for 8 p.m. till midnight and then I bumped it two more hours tacked on two more hours till 2 a.m. then about 1 a.m. I realized no I need more time so I made it until 4 a.m. now I'm realizing I need more time, so I'm gonna make it 6 a.m. Um, I get 32 hours a month in here, and I start paying more, and since this is my first time in here, not a big deal, because I'm not even close to 32 hours. So, just gonna tack on more time and keep going here.
finally got the breads in the oven. I am exhausted. It is 6.20 in the morning. The breads have another hour, 10 minutes to cook. Oh gosh, this is what I, well, can't really, this doesn't do it justice, but I'm drenched now in sweat. Uh, Feeling gross, I mean, I'm covered in goop and whatever. The mess that I've made here is incredible. Um, the next people are getting here at seven. So I have to clean all of this up and get out of here by seven. Clearly if I'm an hour, 10 minutes left of breads to cook, that's not gonna be the case. So I'm gonna have to ask them if they'll let me um, hang out a little longer and you know I'll clean everything up and whatever and then I'm just gonna ask if I can hang out until the breads are done. Uh, I'm ready for bed. This, <laughs> if I'm doing this as a one-man show, which I am planning to do as I start this, this is gonna be tough. Uh, but you know, I have fun. I mean, I guess I've been <laughs> Been here like nine hours, um, and uh, my bedtime is usually like 11, 11:30. So I'm, uh, I just want to finish up and go to bed. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clean up and get out of here. It's now like 7:25, and I'm still here. The people who are supposed to be here at seven are not here. I don't know where they are, but they're not here. I cleaned everything up, and while cleaning. I smelled something that smelled a little uh, strange. So 55 minutes into the bread's cooking of the hour 20 minutes that they needed to cook. They all burn. I burned every single one. <laughs> Rose, it's raining. You don't like water. You're still gonna You're try to go cat. out there? Go out there, Rose. It's raining and you don't like water. Go. You're not gonna do it? It's free to go outside. You can do it. Go ahead. You always wanna go outside. You gonna go outside, Rose, in the rain? Rose? <laughs> you don't like the rain? <laughs> go, Rose! <laughs> oh my God. <laughs>